questions came up from this that I think might be helpful. One is, is what is this thing if you have a log and you don't have a base to it? So you have log nothing, base nothing, of 100 equal to 2. So um, let's, let's see if we can figure it out using secret to logs, right? Let's just call this an empty box. Write it as an exponent, okay? And so you have base to the <coughs> second. This is the base. This is, this is the um, power because, or the exponent, because logs are exponents. You got it. And that's equal to 100. Well, what's the only thing that base could be in order to make sense? A 10, right? Now, you also have another clue that that was base 10. Take out your calculators and look at the screen where it shows you L-O-G. Find the button that says L-O-G. Find the button that says L-O-G. And what do you see up above in this alpha or the second? What's the power that you see? You see the log, and then above it says what? 10 to the X. That's the clue that this is base what? 10. Now look at this other one. The other one says natural log. I don't know what that base is, but above it, I see another power. What is that exponent? e to the x. And that is base e. Now, the reason that book writers do this is because it's just a little bit cheaper and a little bit easier not to put that little subscript in. And so they might leave that out. Whenever you see natural log, it's log base E. So whenever you see natural log, it's log base E. Whenever you see log without anything, it's log base E. Or I'm sorry, not E, not, 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 not log base 10. Excuse me, log base 10. Oh, I'm so glad you asked that. Take your calculators out. You already got those out. Watch and learn. Here's E. Uh, we're going to figure out what E is, but I'm going to tell you what E is. If you went 1 plus 1 over x to the x, you would get E if x was really, really big, if x went to infinity. So to show you that, take your calculators. And I like this. We did this last hour, and it makes sense to me. Uh, let's see. I had... That's weird. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, put into your calculator, you're going to put... You're going to put uh, second quit... And we're going to go parenthesis 1 plus 1 divided by 1 to the 1. That's kind of boring. 2, right? Now change that x to a 2. We're going to go 1. one plus 1 over 2 to the 2. What do you think that's going to be? Yeah, it's 2.25. Let's make it a 5 this time. Make this a 5. Make this one a 5. Is this just going to keep getting bigger and bigger? Well, it does, but it's going to get bigger slower now. It's going to kind of take a while. I'm going to do a 9 this time. And I'm going to go... 2.581174. So this number, I'm adding less to 1. I'm taking 1 and I'm adding a little bit, but then I'm taking it to a bigger and bigger power. And what do you think happens when I make this like, oh, let's go 999, nine, nine, let's go four nines. And I'm going to go insert 999. Nine, nine. Good. 2.718. Let's try another one. Let's go. Uh, let's put a total of 3, 6, 7, 8, 9 nines. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. 
Oops, I always do that. Too impatient. There we go. Insert. And we need one, two, three, four. That's eight, nine. And now, when I hit enter, you're going to get 2.718. Two eight. Now, this is not something you should do, but I think that this is probably the most likely pin number of any math teacher in the country. If anybody is a math teacher, they use, this is the second most popular constant. What's the most popular constant? Pi. Pi. To have 3.14159 as a pin number would be ridiculous. If people knew you were a math teacher, that's what they would do. But if you were a math teacher, and not a lot of people know about this, but you know about this. This is used more than pi is in a lot of circles. Anything exponential, exponential decay, exponential growth, it uses this. Uh, it's probably the most likely pin number. Would you say it with me? 2.71828. 2 Again, 2.71828. Excellent. So now, uh, now try this. Go second. E, and now put a 1 in there, and e to the first should be that number, and it is. Yes? Yeah, the uh, calculator. <laughs> Thank you for asking, though. All right, so um, e is just a base, but it's the second most used number, but it's pretty elegant. It's 1 plus 1 over a billion to the billion. That's pretty cool. 1 plus 1 over a trillion to the trillion. Anything that gets big like that is going to get close to 2.71828. So whenever we see the natural log, it's log base e of x. That's the same as the natural log. Anytime you see just the log, base 10 of x, they shortcut it to the log of x. And uh, you'll be able to do that. Okay, go to the next slide. And this one has 16 through, I think it's 42. And what you're going to do is you're going to use this idea of changing form to try to evaluate these. So log base 3 of 27 equals x. Most people wouldn't know what to do. But you do. What do you do? Change it to the exponent. What's the base? What's the exponent? X and equal to the number? 27. 3 to the what is 27? 3. Now, some people, they're pretty smart. They go, oh, 27 is 3 to the third. You see another way you might solve for X? That's pretty cool. You can just see X equals 3. You go ahead and come up with strategies to fi figure all of these out. <laughs>